welcome back my students dr ugwe here and this is the video sound from the playlist of the diagrams and today we are going to learn how to draw the diagram of the third ventricle this topic is extremely 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 important and at the end of the video you will learn how to write this answer in university examinations if you ever encounter it clearly now how to draw this diagram bdc gives this diagram in figure 9.1 Let's learn how to draw this diagram. Clear? First, we'll make a structure called corpus callosum, like this. Clearly. And we'll continue like this. And right here, we'll make a structure like this, clearly. And it will be followed by another line. We'll make it downwards like this by forming a pillar. At the end of the pillar, we'll make a bulge like this, clearly. And after that, we'll continue it like this in a slanted way and make a bulge and then continue it like this with two bulges, like this one and the second bulge downwards. Clearly? So far is clear. Then here, we'll, from here, we'll start a line like this, clearly. And continue it, continue it, continue it till here. Clearly? This line will continue here and we'll join these two lines like this. So far is clear. And from here, we'll make a structure like this. In front of the structure, we'll make a circle. And below this structure, we'll make a spring-like structure like this. Clearly? Below the spring-like structure, we'll continue a line with two bulges. This is the first bulge, and this is the second bulge. And the second bulge after the second bulge, we'll make a big bulge, third bulge, like this, and continue downwards. Clear? And after the second bulge, we'll form a line like this. And in here, we'll make a circle. Clearly? So this is the diagram of the third ventricle. Now we'll label the different parts in the third ventricle. We know this structure is a corpus callosum. So this is the splenium of the corpus callosum. This is the body of the corpus callosum. This bend is right here, the genome of the corpus callosum. And this is the rostrum of the corpus callosum. Clearly? And this structure right here is the fourth ventricle. This structure right here is the midbrain. This structure right here is the pons, clearly. This structure right here, this extension is the pineal body. Above the pineal body is the suprapineal recess, clearly. And this structure right here is the anterior commissure, clearly. This structure, this structure right here is the third ventricle. This third ventricle communicates with the fourth ventricle via a canal called the cerebral aqueduct of Sylvius. So this canal is cerebral aqueduct of Sylvius, clearly. This part right here is thalamus is thalamus clearly thalamus these are some of the structures of the third ventricle there are more structures yet to name we will name them in a sequential order first we will make name we will name the structures that form the anterior wall of the third ventricle in this diagram we'll name the structures which form the anterior wall of the third ventricle anterior wall is formed by three structures now first structure is this structure it's called the laminar terminalis Clear? Number set, second structure is this circle, it's called the anterior commissure. And the third structure is the anterior combs of the phonics. This structure right here is the this right is the structure right here is the phonics. So these structures can be anterior columns of phonics, anterior combs of phonics. So anterior wall is formed by lamina terminalis, that is this structure. Then this structure that's anterior commissure and anterior columns of phonics, anterior columns of phonics, clearly. That is this structure. These are the anterior wall of the third ventricle. Now I'll name the structures in the posterior wall of the third ventricle. Posterior wall of the third ventricle is formed by three structures. This structure right here is the pineal body. Clearly, number first structure is the pineal body. Number second structure is this. This is the cerebral aqueduct of Sylvius, which connects this third ventricle with the fourth ventricle. And below the pineal body, we have a structure called a posterior commissure. Clearly, posterior commissure. So posterior wall is formed by post posterior wall is formed by uh, pineal body clear then we have the cerebral aqueduct of sylvius then we have here the posterior commissure clear then we will talk about the floor of the third ventricle floor of the third ventricle the structures that form the floor of the third ventricles are extremely important and we will remember them by a mnemonic that's o i p t m p and t clearly so what is O? O is optic chiasm. Optic chiasm. This structure right here is optic chiasm. 
What is this eye? This is infundibulum, this structure, this pillar-like structure. Then what is P? That's pituitary gland. Where is pituitary gland? This bulb is pituitary gland, clearly. Then what is T? This T, here is a structure. T, this is called as tuber snarium. Tuber snarium. Then after that T is M. This bulge that we made is M. That's called a mammillary body, clearly. Then we have the P. What is P? Here are the structures like this. Is called posterior perforated substance posterior perforated substance so this is posterior perforated substance then we will talk about the t t is the tegmentum of midbrain tegmentum of midbrain clearly this is the midbrain it, it this midbrain has a tegmentum it's called tegmentum of midbrain so the structures that form the floor of the third ventricle are o that's opticiasm then infundibulum then pituitary gland then tuber snarium then mammillary body then posterior perforated substance and tegmentum of midbrain now we name the structures which form the roof of the third ventricle roof of the third ventricle there are two structures that form the roof of the third ventricle this structure right here this is the body of the third ventricle sorry this is the body of the phonix clearly so this structure right here is the body of phonix so floor is formed by so roof is formed by body of phonix clearly and below uh, the body of the phonix, there's a structure right here that's called as the tila cordia of the third ventricle. Tila cordia of third ventricle. This tila cordia of third ventricle is lined by ependyma. Is lined by ependyma. So another structures that form the roof of the third ventricle are uh, ependyma lining tila cordia of third ventricle cordia of third ventricle so roof is formed a roof of the third ventricle is formed by two structures that is the body of the phonics and ependyma lining the telocardia of the third ventricle clear so this is all about the third ventricle how to draw this third ventricle in your university exams clearly now the question arises how to write how to write a good answer in university exam in university exam university clearly and how so how to write this third ventricle because we are uh, reading we are learning third ventricle right now first of all you write introduction about the third ventricle introduction about the third ventricle in introduction what you will write what is third ventricle third ventricle is a cavity in the brain more precisely is a cavity in diencephalon diencephalon clearly it is present between two thalamus thalamus yeah, in uh, in between two thalami. So first you write the introduction about the third ventricle. Then you write its communications. Right? Then it is communications. Communications. Uh, what you will write in communications? This third ventricle con uh, communicates anterior superiorly with the lateral ventricle clearly via interventricular foramen clearly. So in this diagram you can see. Uh, here is another structure, another circle that is called the interventricular foramen or foramen of horror through which the third ventricle communicates with the later ventricle. Similarly, this third ventricle communicates with the fourth ventricle via cerebral aqueduct of Sylvius. So, in the communications, you will write it anteriorly, it communicates with the later ventricle, and inferiorly, it communicates with the fourth ventricle. So, communication with the later ventricle and the third ventricle via foramen of Monroe and cerebral aqueduct of Sylvius. After that, you will draw. You will draw a neat and a good diagram like this with with a little bit of color clearly after uh, so you will draw this diagram clearly after uh, drawing this diagram you will uh, write up you write the different boundaries that we talked about so what are the different boundaries these are the anterior uh, the boundaries that form the anterior wall that form the posterior wall that form the roof that form the floor of the third ventricle clearly after Writing about the boundaries, you will write about the recesses. Recesses, clearly. So, what are recesses? Recesses are the extensions of the cavity. Of recesses are the extensions of any cavity. So, the extensions of the third ventricle are called the extensions or the recesses of the third ventricle. So, what are the recesses? We have suprapineal recess. Similarly, we have the infundibular recess. Similarly, we have the optic recess. So, these are the different recesses of the third ventricle, clearly. So after writing the uh, after writing about the different after writing the names of the different recesses of the third ventricle, you will write about its clinical anatomy. Two points or three points about the clinical anatomy of the third ventricle. The points about the, the clinical anatomy you will find in any book. 
for example in bdc there are many clinical there are many clinical points that are given you can write any two or three of the clinical points that form a good answer to the third ventricle first introduction then its communication then you will draw a diagram then you will write the different boundaries then you will write the different recesses then you will write some clinical points and i and hopefully that forms a good answer to a question and our question right here is the third ventricle so this is the diagram of the third ventricle i hope you like this video doctor your doctor over here thank you